our second kind of energy is potential energy. And I will define it a little bit awkwardly as when you do work, to store energy. And it, we call it uh, U, and it's in joules. So the symbol is big U, and the unit is joules, just like kinetic energy. All right, so to think about it, let's imagine we have a rod here with a plate sticking out, and it's on the ground like this, and we have a big mass perched on the edge of the plate. When the mass is here, its kinetic energy is zero because it's not moving. So its kinetic energy is zero, but, but, but it has the potential to gain kinetic energy. It doesn't have any kinetic energy, but it could show up. And I can show you that here. So here, I have the same thing, rod and a plate and a large, in this case, one kilogram mass perched on the edge. Right now it has zero kinetic energy, not moving, but just a little push. Oh, replace your divots, and it falls. And you saw it had quite a bit of K as it went down. Right? So it begins to fall, it picks up uh, a velocity, and as it falls, of course, due to gravity, it goes faster and faster. Right? So the mass gets a big velocity. So here, K is greater than zero, and here as well. K is greater than zero. OK, so we say then that while the mass was up here, it had the potential to have energy. It had what we call the potential energy. We think of potential energy as the energy of position. OK? But you might say, wait a minute, but I thought um, energy was conserved, right? We can't just make energy based. We can't create energy just because something is somewhere and just say it has energy, right? So it has to come from somewhere. Usually it comes from work. It did come from work. So where did the energy come from? Well, let's have the mass start here. We've got to get it up there, right? I've got to pick it up and lift it. Oh, I'm so tired and lazy, and then get it up here. So I was pushing up with a force F with my hand, force hand up through a displacement D to put it up here. And to move it at constant velocity, I accelerate a little bit at first, and then to move it at constant velocity, I'm basically counteracting its weight. I'm counteracting mg. So the force of my hand is mg. So, um, so let's say we had to do work to get it there. And the work we had to do to get it there is the potential energy. Just like you do work to create kinetic energy, you do work to give something potential energy. And so u, in this case, equals the work we had to do, which is the force. And like I said, the force we applied was just mg. And the height that we carried it, we could say, since it's vertical, we'll call it delta y, since it's against gravity. So the potential energy, and we're going to call it the gravitational potential energy, ug, is mg delta y. Now you may say, I've been around students a lot, I know what they say, you may say, hey, That's just the work. And we've already talked about work. Right? We've already done kinetic energy and work. Why are we bringing in potential energy and saying it's new when it's just work? It doesn't have its own formula. And here's my answer. I would say, but, there's always a but, you can't have work. That's the answer, OK? Kinetic energy is a property of an object based on its velocity. Potential energy is a property of an object based on its position. If there's a mechanism to have potential energy, sometimes there isn't. Those are properties of an object. Work is really just the exchange of energy. You can't really have work. Work is something that happens. So you may remember before, when we introduced energy, I told you that it is the currency of physics. So now I'll say that kinetic energy and potential energy 
are the currency of physics. And I was so proud of that line. I thought it was the most original, brilliant analogy ever thought of in physics. And maybe it is because I've now found it in many textbooks. Okay, this analogy is done. In one textbook, it was overdone. A story about Bob and his money went on for three pages, and I assure you no one has ever read those three pages. But I do have a new one for you. If that is true, then work is the ATM. Work is where you exchange the currency to change your amount of currency, your potential and your kinetic energy. This one, I think, is a MOOC original here. So we'll be thinking more about these three quantities.